Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you the uses of with block in Simulink. See, in Simulink, it provides the Simulink provides a block called with block, which can measure the size of the signal, the signal which is input, which is given as an input to this particular block. That signal can be a vector given from a say for example a vector signal which is made in a constant or some kind of workspace variable which you are trying to insert or it can be also a bus signal. So it measures, it gives you the size of the uh, bus signal or the input signal to this width block. So let's see, uh, let's try an example for this. This is a page of the document what you are seeing on the screen. You can go to, to go to the document, but I'll show. I would like to show you an example in this particular video. So to get a with block, you should go to the Simlink uh, library browser, and with block can be found under Simlink uh, signal attributes. And this the last block is the with block. So let's try to use it. So first, let's create a, a new Simlink model, and no. Let's add width block into this. So, first let me try out with a bus signal. Many times the need arises that we need to know what are the number of elements in a bus signal. So, first let me create a bus creator. This is just a, like a, a dummy bus, of course, we'll create. We won't have a, a lots of uh, value. So, let's, let's give it a value of 5. And like so, we will have 5 signals into this. And let me have a say for example import import okay and similarly for all the five i will have imports paste paste so this is an example that's why i'm taking five of course in your actual model it depends like how many Okay, I'm connecting one by one all of these. Okay, it came here. Now for the output, I will take a display. You can also have a two workspace value block over here and transfer the value to the uh, base workspace in MATLAB. But I, I would like to see the value over here. So once we have done it, let's save it now. And I'll just give it a name as block simulink yes. I know if I run I am expecting the value 5 because there are 5 signals into this bus yeah ok so 5 came up here so perfectly fine have you ever wondered like if you have a structure of buses say for a bus within a bus then and if you need to know the number of elements of E of that bus how you can do that you can use this with block so let's create one more level of structure. So I will have, say for example, I'll give this input instead of here to this another bus, and I will have one another input. So my number of signals now should become around um, six because five from the first bus and six signal from the second one. And let me transfer it here. Yes. Now I'll expect a value six. Let's see. Okay. Yes. You can see six is here. So, uh, yes. So, this way, if you have a structure of buses where you have buses within buses, you can just uh, say, for example, if I open, it's a buses within buses. There are five signals into first bu uh, uh, bus, and second is a pure signal, so it's uh, just a signal. So you can get the count of the number of signals accordingly over here. If you notice over here in the top also in the uh, width block, it displays the number of signals you have or number of signals in a bus yes now let's do the same example for a vector of uh, uh, for a vector signal which has a, a number of uh, elements into that signal so let's do it so for that let me first create some space I, i'll keep the above example also it doesn't make any harm and i'm creating just a uh, parallel structure now to create a structure uh, to create a vector i can Insert a constant block and give it a structure. 
like uh, okay just leave it simple four five six seven eight so I, I have inserted eight elements into it so this is a vector of eight elements which I am the signal which I have created here now if I run this I expect that it should be able to measure the total width of this uh, signal and let me see whatever yes so over here there were eight elements into this signal and it's able to measure that there are eight elements so if, if you change the number of signals of course it will change and you can get from eight to uh, say for example nine and if I run it again nine yeah yeah so that's it so this is a very nice block if you want to measure the number of signals within a bus or number of elements in a vector you can quickly use this with block and to get the output you can either of course I have used the display block but if you need some to use this value into some other processing or you need this value as a variable you can use that as a variable uh, to, to workspace blocks and all those things to transfer this value as a variable to the MATLAB and then use it accordingly okay so i hope this video was helpful for more details on this of course you should go through the help documents it's pretty simple you know very short and precise and uh, i hope you like this example if you have any questions please put in my comment section and uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day